Welcome to Anywhere is Simplify SAP, Create It Now. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to create a VK11 transaction script that will create condition records. First, I will pull up my Excel template, which contains the VK11 data, consisting of material number, price, start date, and end date. I'm going to start by opening Process Runner. It is a standalone application that can be installed on a desktop, a server, Citrix, VMware, Hyper-V, and it officially works with SAP systems from 4.7 to HANA. Now I'm going to create a new process and select the transaction technology. I'm going to type in the T code VK11 here and select Start Recording. I am now prompted to log into any SAP system from my SAP landscape. Process Runner supports single sign-on, enterprise portal, SNC, SSO1, SSO2, HTTP, and HTTPS authentication. Now that the recording is started, I'm going to enter a condition type of PR00. Next, I need to enter a sales organization, followed by a distribution channel, and finally, a customer number. Now I'm going to enter the data from my Excel sheet, and I'm going to pull them up side by side to make it very easy. For the material, I'm going to write 100-100, and the amount I will put 35, and the valid from date is going to be March 1st, 2008, and the valid to date is going to be March 31st, 2008. Now that I have input my data, I will hit save and save this transaction file. I can name my transaction file anything I would like. I'm going to leave it VK11 in this case and hit OK. Now I am taken into what is called the mapper tab and I can see all of my recorded fields at the top. I'm going to start by linking my external Excel containing my VK11 data. On the bottom we can view the external Excel in the iBook. Now all I have to do is map my data. The condition type field will use the mapping type fixed single value of PR00. The sales organization field will also use the same mapping type and will be 3000. Same with the distribution channel with the value of 10, followed by the customer number with the value of 1000. The material number and price fields can be mapped as Excel to SAP types to row A and B respectively using the drag and drop feature. Lastly, the validity start date and end date can be mapped as Excel cell values of B2 and B3 respectively. Now I am going to go to the Home tab, and this is where I can select which rows to run. From the Excel sheet, we can see that the Start row is going to be 4, and the End row is going to be 40. I can now go back to the Home tab and set my Start row to 4, and I can set my End row to 100, as Process Runner knows when to stop automatically. Now I will hit the Run button to run this transaction, but first I need to log into an SAP system. Now here in Excel, I can see the data is being recorded into SAP. Now I can go back into Process Runner and see my runtime for this transaction. I can see there are 37 finished calls with an SAP time of 5 seconds and a total time of 11 seconds. Thank you for watching, and if you would like to learn more about Process Runner, please visit us at inawera.com. And if you would like further assistance utilizing Process Runner, you can contact us at support at inawera.com.